Dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to present in today's video. Today's video is very informative for those students who are targeting colleges in Chennai. Today we are going to discuss about one of the top university in India that's called Anna University. So just a small request folks, please don't keep your phone down, keep watching till the end you will really enjoy. All right, so let's start today's video. Now, before starting this video, let me just tell you what are the things that we are going to discuss today. So these are the 10 pointers on which we will cover. The first one is about of Anna University. So we are going to cover about the Anna University first. Then we will move on to the top 10 colleges which are affiliated under Anna University. All right, then we'll discuss about the courses and the fee structure. Then we'll discuss about the admission process in Anna University. Then we'll discuss about the eligibility criteria for the Indian and NRI students. What are the pointers that you guys have to keep in mind while you have taking admission in this university? Then is there any reservation of Indian and NRI students or not? What is the required cutoff? If there is entrance, then what is the required cutoff? We'll discuss. Is there any scholarship opportunity or not? What is the placement scenario? And still, if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section below. We will cover one more aspect today, which is mock test. So if you're planning for Anna University, where you can find the mock test. Okay, so these are the things that we are going to discuss in today's video. Let's start today's video without wasting much time. All right, so let's discuss about the about of Anna University. So Anna University is a government university which was established in 1978. Its campus is located in Chennai, a campus size of 189 acres. It is recognized by UGC, that's University Grant Commission. College ranking as for the last year says that it ranks 7 by the NIRF. 8 by the week that is the engineering by the week and 9 by the engineering by the NIRF so ranking is pretty cool if I talk about the mode of education the mode of education are full-time and correspondence so you can get full-time courses you can get correspondence courses that's part-time okay if I talk about the number of courses it offers it offers 120 across various element so this is 120 courses if I talk about the scholarship type then there are yes scholarship options present in this university we'll discuss in the coming slides as for the last year friends the highest salary offered in 2019 was 6.57 lakhs per annum that's not bad if i talk about the collaboration that collaboration of this university is with university industry collaboration so foreign exchange students exchange programs is prominently seen in here if i talk about the official website this is www.aaanna that is anna univ that's university univ dot edu it's a COVID college university sorry and application mode is online you can just fill the form online and you need to qualify a few entrance or few exams before entering into this college or university that is ME or MTEC for the admission in ME and MTEC you have to qualify GATE and TANSET I'll discuss about detail in the coming slides don't worry in the bachelor courses you need to qualify NATA in the PhD, you have to qualify entrance university. That's university entrance exam for the PhD. Okay, so we are going to cover this aspects. Let's start with the second aspect, which is top 10 colleges under Anna University. So see, this is a university, right? If I take a simple example, if I talk about Delhi University, so there are somewhere around 65 to 70 colleges under Delhi University, spread it across entire Delhi, South Delhi, North Delhi, right west delhi and east delhi so again every university has top colleges right and that that keeps on changing like if i talk about the last year trend of delhi university it was venkateshwara college which ranks seven but this year this is coming in six or seven six and seven that keeps on changing that depends on various factors like what is the placement scenario what are the students activities how the university to the college is responding to the other activities as well so there are many aspects in here right so we are going to discuss but the 10 Colleges under AU are College of Engineering Chennai. This is one of the top college under AU. Then PSD College of Technology. Then SSN, SNN College of Engineering. Again, these all are in Chennai. Then Thai Garjar College of Engineering, which is in Madurai. Then Adhyam College of Engineering, which is in Hosur. Then Commuter Institute of Technology, that's CIT in Commuter. Then Kungo Engineering College, which is in Erod. Then Kumara Guru College of Technology, which is in Commuter. And finally, MIT, which is MIT, that's called Madras Institute of Technology, one of the top college in AU again, is in Chennai. These all colleges are ranked AAAA, right? Top colleges under Indian ranking. And the last one is MAPSECO Scale Engineering College, which is in Sivaski. So these are the top 10 colleges in Anna University. Let's cover the courses and the fee structure. 
So as I just told, this university offers bachelor's courses, master's courses, and PhD courses, which is the doctoral courses. So you can find these three courses, and then the three courses fee structure is such that if I talk about the bachelor courses like B Tech or BE, the course is fifty five thousand first year. So if you just club it for the four years, this will somewhere cost you around, or the charges will be around two lakh twenty twenty thousand, right? Somewhere around three lakhs. You're done with your that is bachelor's. If I talk about MBA, MSc. MCA and ME and MTech. Now these are the master courses. So the charges is forty one thousand first year. The fees is forty one thousand first year or sixty thousand first year. That depends. The list is just in front of you. So you can check again. This is a government institute. That's why the fees is really low. All right. And also to impart the quality education, this college is one of the best college. Okay. Now let's move on to the admission process. For the admission process in the B Tech or BE or essentially in the graduation courses. You have to qualify T N E A. That's Tamil Nadu Engineering Entrance. This is a straight level entrance exam. You need to qualify, and post that you are called for counselling. Okay. For the B R program, you need to qualify NATA. That's N A T A. Again, you need to qualify with certain scores. I'll just let you know what are the scores, and post that you will be called for counselling. If I talk about M E and M T E, if I talk about the master's courses, you need to qualify TANSET or GATE with respective cutoff TANSET and GATE. So then you will be again called for counselling and post that you will be given admission in masters. If I talk about the PhD program or the MPhil program, there is a university entrance test that you need to qualify, and there are majorly four specialisations on which your PhD will be measuring. All right. If I talk about candidates who are selected in MSc and MPhil, then again that is also based on entrance exam. That's a university entrance exam. You can visit the site and you can check the details in there. All right. Let's move on to the eligibility criteria. If I talk about the eligibility criteria, eligibility criteria for the graduation courses, essentially the bachelor courses, which is BE, B Tech, and B R. That's bachelor's in archaeology. So typically, if I talk about BE course, you there are specializations like agricultural and engineering, agri agricultural and education and engineering. Then there is civil engineering. Then there is electrical and electronics engineering. Then there is automobile engineering. This is in the case of BE. And for that, you need to at least score fifty percent marks in your physics, mathematics, chemistry, and ten plus two. Right? That is in matriculation. Sorry, intermediate. Again, you need to qualify the test as well, which I just told. And if I talk about the specialization is B Tech. In the B Tech, there is IT, computer science and engineering, chemical engineering, and ceramic technology. Again, you have to qualify this entrance, the entrance which I just told, along with fifty fifty five percent marks in your class twelfth, along with PCM. Now, if we talk about B Arc, in the B Arc there is no criteria as such. I mean, there is no specialization as such. But yes, at least you have to score a bare minimum of 50% marks in physics, chemistry, and mathematics. All right. Now, this is the brief about the eligibility criteria in bachelors. If I talk about the eligibility criteria in masters, which is M E, M Tech, and M Arc, so typically in M E there are specializations like structural engineering, environmental engineering. environmental management aeronautical engineering aeronautical management quality engineering management and software engineering so for this you have to at least pass your last bachelor courses with again 50% marks that is the prerequisite along with the that uh, entrance exam that also you need to qualify with certain cutoffs right now this is a university so there are many colleges under this university all right so every colleges has different cutoff right but it is always better to go for the top colleges first check the cut off of those colleges first and then move on to the respective colleges right so that's why it has just set a general parameter of 50% in the graduation if i talk about the mtech in mtech there are specializations like chemical engineering ceramic technology leather technology and textile technology and again for this case you need to score 50% marks in your graduation right respective the specialization for which you have done your bachelors if you talk about mtech there are specializations like digital architecture and landscape architecture and for this you have to qualify 50% in your br if you are done with br then only you are applicable for enrolling into the mr courses all right let's move on to the talk about the other few courses in masters which are msc mba m plan and mca for the msc there are specializations like applied mathematics medical physics applied chemistry and general now this is for the msc and for this you have to at least pass your bachelors which is with bsc again with physics chemistry or biotechnology or anything you have been in bachelors with at least 50% marks if i talk about mba then there are two courses under mba which is general mba that's again finance marketing hr 
and there is one more mba specialization which is tourism management now tourism management is of great you know demand these days this tourism sector is affected very badly due to covid but now the bunch has given much and you can see an enough exposure in this sector which is tourism management right so if you're planning to do MBA in tourism management, this is the best option, right? And for the MBA, you need to again score 50% marks in your bachelor's. This is a prerequisite along with you need to qualify that exams, right? This also, uh, this university also takes CAT score, right? Math scores. I'll let you know in the coming slides, okay? If I talk about M plan and MCA, there is no specialization as such. This is given that you have to just pass your bachelor's, which is a B arc, or at least just to be graduate with 50% marks, okay? Now, again, if I talk about the Anna University application form for the foreign students. So for the foreign students, they have to also follow the same pattern or the fashion which the Indian students do. If I just read, it says that foreign NRI and CIWGC candidates can apply directly at Anna University by filling form and submitting the application form prescribed with the veracity at the time of the admission. Again, the process is almost same as the Indian students. Again, if I talk about the seats, the seats reservation for these categories. So different colleges have different categories. I'll let you know in the coming slides. Just stay connected. If I talk about, okay, again, at this point of time, let me just announce a very important part here, which is CIWGC NRI quota. So for the CIWG, see, and NRI quota, we have prepared an NRI ebook, right? That's related to DASA CIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled cell of NRI ebooks, all right? This is for NRI students. Now let's move on to the next part, which is reservation of Indian and NRI students. So is, this is a university. So there are many colleges enrolled in this university. These are affiliated to this university, which is popularly known as this college is affiliated to Anna University. So I just took a random college. This is a random college. And you can see this, that this is just for the bachelors in which mechanical engineering, there are a total of 180 seats out of which 27 are reserved for foreign nationals in the first year. If I talk about mechanical engineering, this is 60 seats out of which nine is reserved for these candidates. In the electrical and electronics engineering, out of 120, 18 is again. This reservation is for 18, right? If I talk about computer science and engineering, out of 180, 27 seats is reserved for national, foreign national students. Again, if I talk about IT, out of 120, 18 is reserved for foreign national. So you can see this thing that in many colleges, in almost all the colleges, you can see that this reservation is there, right? This reservation is there because I have just reading, I was just reading the circular 2019 circular, in the Times of India. In order to just ensure that there is a quality education and there is in order to increase the diversity of the students, this university promotes. So you can find the reservation of foreign nationals in almost all the colleges which are affiliated to Anna University. Okay, that's a good thing. Now let's move on to the cutoff. If I talk about the cutoff, the cutoff for if you are enrolling into the bachelor's courses, you need to qualify TNEA as I just told. And this is just a trend of the last year, 18 and 19 and even the 20, that says that you need to just score 131, 52. Now, this is again a general score, right? A general ranking. Because different colleges have set different ranking system, right? Different colleges have different ranking on which you will be called for your counseling. So this is just a general thing that 13,152 for the 2018, 82, 72 for the 2019 and 75, 80 is equals to or that is for the 2020. So you can see this thing that rank is keep decreasing, right? So many people are now coming into this AU. So this is a great thing, right? Now, now the competition on the diversity is increasing day by day. If I talk about JE mains, then 2020 cutoff was 7,580. Okay, you can again, if you are wishing into enrolling into this bachelor courses, if you are qualified JE mains, then again, you can take the admission in here. For more details, you can check the site of different colleges because this is just a general university. This is just like a university and there are various colleges. So various colleges has set various cutoffs, right? And you can visit the site. This is the official site, which is, as I just told in the starting. And from there on, you'll get the list of colleges which are affiliated to AU and you can check the cutoff. If I talk about the admission in master's courses, you need to qualify MAT with 65 percentile. This has been the data in 2019. If I talk about the CMAT, this is 60 percentile. The data has been in the 2019. If I talk about TANSET MBA, again, 55 by score, the last year trend or last year data. Okay, in CAD, this is general that you have to score 60 percentile in overall to get into the MBA program. It says that in the last year, that is if I just compare the data of 2018 and 2019, this is 40, 40 percentile in the sectional part. DI, 40, 40 percentile. QA, 40, 40 percentile. That makes overall 60 percentile. So you just need to score a 60 percentile and you will be enrolled into the master's courses. All right, that is MBA. 
let's move on let's move on let's talk about the scholarship if i talk about the scholarship then a university promotes the scholarship opportunity amongst the students it offers virtual internship scholarship right these are total 150 fully fund scholarships and you can visit the site that is www.thinkpacific.com slash virtual scholarship dash scholarship for more updates okay so there is enough opportunity for scholarship in here there are many students who have just you know took 50 percent of their fees by the scholarship thing only now again there is criteria once you are enrolled into the bachelor's or master's courses you have to enroll you have to just score a bare minimum to be eligible for the scholarship as a data trend says that you have to score at least 8.7 cgpa 8.7 gpa of the total cgpa in first year so that you will be in, you will be just shortlisted for the scholarship in the respective years or in the coming years now again there are various various parameters for different colleges different colleges set various cutoffs for scholarships right so this is just a general or you can just say this is the average which is 8.7 all right let's talk about the placement so if i talk about the placement which is a must awaited thing in here so typically if i just say that see the return on investment for this college is really great because you are investing somewhere around two to three lakhs for your graduation right again two to three lakhs for your masters so what can you expect in the return of course that is of course that is greater than more than one that is more than one is to one so the average that's if i talk about the average placement this is 2.4 in the respective years that keep on increasing for 2.4 then 4.8 has been the highest in 2017 7.2 in the year uh, 2018 9.6 and 12 like if i talk specifically these are the data which are average right it's always better to go for the median data if you talk about the placements because medians gives an actual scenario of the placements in any college if you're targeting any college go for the median pay package not the average so if i show you the median pay package for the bachelor's program in the respective courses BARC and then in MARC and then in BTEC and then in MTEC, this has been seen that the median pay package that is lakh per annum in Indian rupee is 1.86 for the bachelor's. For the MTEC, this is 4.8. For the BE, BTEC, this is 5. And for the ME, MTEC, this is 4.2. Again, this is more than 1. Right? 1 is to 1 ratio is maintained. Even more than that is maintained. If I talk about the Annan University MBA salary trend, MBA, MBA is one of the renowned courts. Right? So if I talk about MBA, the highest pay package was 6.57 lakh per annum in the last year, which is 2019. And even in 20 in the average the average has been seen 4.71 again we are not interested into the average we are interested into the median so you can see this thing, the picture which is 3.5 if someone is wishing to go into the college and you just saw the average the average pay package which is 4.71 and see the average does not give the clear picture right if you are a mathematical student if you are from the mathematics background this average is not lying at the middle the median value is lying at the middle so you are someone who is just lying in the middle of the batch right so that will give you actual scenario so for the last year, the median pay package was 3.5 lakh per annum. Always go, always this is recommended to go for the median pay package. I'm always saying this thing. All right, the top universe, the top companies which came for the placements last year and this trend follows was MU Sigma, Ranbaski, SRF Limited, Voltas, Essentials, Isar, and then HPCL, Maruti Suzuki, Infosys, Wipro, Ashok Leland, General Motors, JK Tires, Mahindra and Mahindra and IOCL. There are much and many more recruiters in here that keeps on adding in the list. Again, this is a university. So there are many colleges under this, right? So every, every colleges, you can expect a typical of at least 30 to 40 average companies in a single college. So you can just need to multiply that with the total number of college. So you can just have a rough idea at what is the total number of companies visit in AU. So this is just the prominent uh, top companies, okay? Now, as I just told, what are the MU and the mock test that you need to follow? I didn't to give you just want to have a glimpse of this test or this entrance exam for even bachelors or for masters. You can visit some edtech sites, right? Edtech sites like there are many edtech sites, right? You can visit the edtech sites and from there on you will get some idea that what are the type of questions that are being asked. Also, there is an official notice about this mock test. You just need to visit www.anna.annauniv.edu.pdf slash candidate percentage 20 user percentage 20 manual ud 20 percent one pdf so this is a detail about everything for this mock test all right so this is just a brief about this anna university meanwhile we'll be covering more details about anna university in the coming videos i hope you enjoyed this video again subscribe our youtube channel which is test prep card also press the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates from us if you have still any doubts you can ask in the comment section below stay tuned stay connected thank you